Okay, so we're going to skip past a few of these and move into the flip set because the flip set will work nicely <clears throat> with this uh, with this section block. So we've got our linear parameter that controls this arrow uh, inward and out. We've got the rotate parameter that rotates it around. But what happens if I want to flip the arrow and change the direction of this section? Right now, if I rotate this around, this arrow is kind of constantly rotating in a counterclockwise direction. But what happens if I want to rotate it in a... Uh, clockwise direction. That's where the flip set comes in. So the flip set is basically a mirror command and you can choose which way you want to mirror this object. So uh, we'll, do we'll do this in two separate ways. We'll do it first in this direction. Okay. And it's going to put that flip right here in the center. I don't like when grips uh, overlap my uh, insertion point, which is the zero, zero, zero coordinate, basically where the X and Y intersect. So I'm going to move this grip right out to the edge of this block. All right, so now I need to, I need to include some objects with this. So I'm going to say new selection set. Now keep in mind that that um, that uh, parameters will affect each other, right? So when I flip this, right, I want to flip like this line, right? I want to flip um, this uh, arrow over here. But I also want to flip this linear parameter that we, just like we modified it earlier, I want it to flip, okay? And there's one last thing. I can choose to flip the angle, sorry, the um, rotate parameter. And I don't have to. The rotate parameter will still work fine if I don't. But what happens is if I include the rotate parameter in this flip set, like selection set, what it will do is flip the grip back and forth, which honestly is kind of nice because I'd rather the grip always be attached to this line. For now, I'm going to leave it di uh, unattached. You can see what I'm talking about. Let's test the block. And I'm going to flip, right? And my objects are flipped just fine. The arrow and the line are flipped exactly the way I want them to, but you'll notice that the grip for the rotation uh, parameter has not been flipped. But it still works as intended. I mean, I can still rotate this thing around just fine. But as a personal preference for posterity and aesthetics, I would prefer that this grip stay attached to the end of this line. And the way to do that is by including the rotation parameter in the selection set of the flip parameter. So I'm going to go to the flip parameter, right click, action selection set, modify, and I just want to add the, uh, the rotation parameter. All right. Now when I go to test that block and I go to flip, that grip is going to flip back and forth. Oh, and we're locking up again. I really feel like I should have learned my lesson by now. You know, you think, oh, separate videos, not a problem. You have time to, like, get your stuff in order. <laughs> and apparently I didn't. So, while we're doing this, I'll explain to you that you'll notice um, when I start doing this the flip is going to work correctly but the rotate won't and what I mean by that is that when I rotate the flip parameter will not rotate the grip will not rotate with it and that's because I added the rotate or I added the uh, flip parameter after I put the rotate parameter in and remember when I put the rotate parameter and I went and selected all the objects that I, I selected the move parameter I selected all my rotation objects whatever right but that was before I put the flip in. So the flip is not part of the selection set for the rotate parameter. So when I go to rotate something, you'll notice, and you'll see it in action here, you'll notice the grip for the flip will not rotate with it. This grip should actually be down here, but instead, instead it's staying up here. Okay? So, <clears throat> although the flip works fine here, when you go over here, um, it still works, but it's going to work differently. You see what I'm saying? It, 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 it flips differently because I'm because I'm not rotating the flip parameter. Well, we want that predictable behavior. So the way to do that is to go back and right click on the rotate parameter, modify selection set, go ahead and include the flip set or the flip state. This is kind of crazy, right? Because I have the flip state or the flip parameter modifying the rotate and the rotate modifying the, per the flip parameter. They can modify each other and it still works fine. I go back and test this block, and now you'll notice that when I rotate, the 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 grip for the flip parameter will rotate with it. 
And man, now we're getting to the point where we're freezing every time. I think after this video, I'm going to restart CAD. I'm just kind of recording these things one after the other. But now it's kind of becoming a problem. So, okay. Now everything will work as intended. When I rotate the the whole section marker, the the the, the, the linear parameter is going to rotate and the flip parameter is going to rotate as expected. And when I flip it, the linear parameter is going to flip and the rotate parameter is going to flip. So this is how we're having some uh, parameters affect others. And and if you have a, a block that's acting kind of wonky, check your selection sets. See what, what parameters are affecting others because they have wildly different behavior when you include them uh, in, in ways like this. So <clears throat> as soon as this thing comes back, we'll see how this thing uh, works. All right, so now you watch that grip. Grip rotates, it's over here now. Now it's on the bottom, now it's on the right side, and then back to the top. And you'll notice that as I flip, now I can flip it the way I want it to. See the rotates flipping? I can rotate it again over to like here, and I can flip this way, my rotates flipping. Everything's working as expected, I can still double click. Right, and I can enter that section marker like section A or whatever. Everything's working as intended. The only thing left to show at this point is how you can change the direction of the flip states. I'm gonna erase the uh, actually, yeah. So I'm gonna speak to my ortho on my ortho is on, but I still can't really modify this the way I want to. So I'm just gonna erase the flip state. Oops, that is not what I intended. I'm gonna erase the flip state delete that and I'm going to do a new flip set right and this time I'm gonna make it go this way to show you just to show you the differences that it works similar but differently so I'm gonna put this right here instead I'm gonna do the same thing I did before modify selection set I'm gonna select everything my rotate parameter I'm gonna uh, I'm going to let's see that was what I just yeah that's what I did and uh, sorry, my rotate parameter is what I just modified. Now my flip state, which has nothing selected, again, um, new selection set, select everything, and we should be good to go. Let's test this block. Thankfully, it didn't freeze this time. All right. The difference here is that when I flip, it's flipping a different direction. And I mistakenly chose my text in this uh, flip set. So now it's flipping, my and that's not what I want. I don't want it to flip my text. But it does work as intended, except for that. So let's do selection set modify. And here's how here's how you can remove something quickly from the modify from your selection set. Just cl click the remove option, and then select whatever objects you want to remove. I don't want to flip this. I don't need to flip the circle. I don't need to flip uh, this line here. That's it. Test this block, and now my text should not flip, and it does it. So I can still rotate this, but I screwed up a second ago when I rotated when I when I redid my rotation parameter, but you get the point. Okay, I need to redo this one and say modify and do a remove and remove this one. Did I do remove? I did not remove. There we go. There we go. Right, now I'm moving these things. Okay, we're good. Our block is good. That's our flips uh, set in a nutshell. Is it going to freeze? No, it'll freeze. Cool. I promise you I will restart my cat after this so it didn't freeze again. Uh, so we've got our flip state. Uh, we've got our rotate, which will not rotate the text now. And I can continually uh, flip back and forth. And then my grip will rotate. All my grips rotate. And, and of course, because I'm flipping it a different way now, which this is probably, probably more efficient, I don't have to worry about my grip off of my rotate being flipped back and forth. So, and I can still move this thing in and out. Every, all the functionality is here. So we've got a really nice dynamic section uh, marker um, that works as intended by putting a few different parameters involved altogether. And I'm happy with this. There you go.